Swift and Kelsey were in town to celebrate Easter with Travis' brother, former Eagle Jason Kelsey, and his wife Kylie, who live in Delaware County. Here, Taylor Swift and the Kelsey family celebrated Easter together. They happily had a small party before returning to LA. Kylie appeared on On NBC's Today show in New York City on Monday where she discussed her work with the Eagles Autism Foundation. April is Autism Acceptance Month, asked about the Swift and her brother-in-law on the show. Kylie said, if Trav's happy, we're happy, Kelsey said. We are always cheering on Uncle Trav. It's such a treat to be able to do that on and off the field, but it's been amazing. It comes not long after Jason and Kylie drank pints of Guinness, posed with fans and showed off some impressive Irish dancing moves while celebrating St. Patrick's Day weekend at an Irish bar and restaurant in Pennsylvania. Travis Kelsey is following his back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins with the return of his music festival Kelsey Jam Lil Wayne, Diplo, and 2 Chains will perform at the May 18th event taking place at the Azure Amphitheater in Kansas City, Kansas. It was such a blast that I had to do it again this year. I'm so excited, Kelsey tells The Hollywood Reporter. I wanted to keep it fresh and keep it new, so this year we asked Lil Wayne, Diplo, and 2 Chains to come out and perform. And of course, we still got DJ Irie in my guy, DJ EV, jumping it off, the hometown kid. We got to show the hometown love. He continues, but it's going to be so much fun, and I cannot wait to get back out and celebrate with KC. Man. It's just a blast every single time we can get together to celebrate these back-to-back, -back, Super Bowl wins, one last time. Kelsey and the Kansas City Chiefs won their second consecutive Super Bowl this February, defeating the San Francisco 49ers this year and the Philadelphia Eagles in 2023. The tight end claimed his first Super Bowl in 2020. Last year's inaugural Kelsey Jam featured 20,000 attendees and was headlined by Rick Ross and MGK, whom Kelsey performed alongside on stage. In addition to music, this year's event, presented by Jim Beam, will include local Kansas City restaurant pop-ups and interactive activations. Kelsey is partnering again with Medium Rare, the company behind major pre-Super Bowl events like Shaq's Fun House with Shaquille O'Neal. Gronk Beach with Rob Gronkowski, Sports Illustrated the party in Guy's Flavortown tailgate with Guy Fieri. Kelsey says he called Medium Rare to help him produce his festival after attending Gronk Beach at the 2022 NFL Draft in Las Vegas. We found a winning model that allows us to work with some of the biggest names in sports and entertainment to execute their visions for fan experiences at the very highest level, says Joe Silberzweig, Medium Rare's co-founder and co-CEO. By partnering with Talent 5050 this means that it's not a just celebrity appearance or endorsement opportunity, but a festival that's truly built on their DNA. Adds Adam Richman, co-founder and co-CEO of Medium Rare, it's really remarkable to see just what the Travis Kelsey effect is. Fans lined up last year at 5 a.m., some even camped out and showed out for the festival despite rain. This year, we're already feeling that excitement tenfold. From the fans to our brand partners. It really says a lot about Travis, a global superstar, that he wants to bring Kelsey Jam back to Kansas City and celebrate at home. In an interview, 34-year-old Kelsey talks about his festival, what he learned about producing live events from pop star girlfriend Taylor Swift and the success of his podcast with his brother Jason. I don't know about performing. I'm going to leave that up to the professionals, but you'll see me up there with the mic having some fun and trying to keep the crowd hype, and everybody excited for the next act. But yeah, I can't help myself, man. Once I got a mic in my hand, you never know what I'll do. Oh yeah, man, Chief's Kingdom. I've been so fortunate to land in one of the biggest sports towns, let alone one of the biggest franchises in the National Football League because of the fan base. And not only that, but getting into the community and being a part of the community with my foundation's 87 running and all the things we've done for the kids in the area, it's just so embracing of a city that I absolutely love being a part of it. And then sure enough, Arrowhead being the loudest stadium in the world, we hear them every single stadium we go to. 
Arrowhead being the loudest stadium in the world is such an upper hand and such a pleasure to have. And I cherish every single game and every single time I get out in front of the community. My favorite Lil Wayne song? I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited that I got him and 2 chains in the building because my favorite song is Duffel Bag Boy. I still listen to it to this day before games and everything. To be honest, I was having so much fun, I couldn't even imagine it getting better. But I think this year with just a little bit more buzz to it, everybody had an amazing time. There was such good feedback that we have more and more sponsors. And this year we're definitely still going to have the food aspect to it. So, Uber Eats in Merchant Row. We'll have local spots from KC, a lot of KC's favorites. And then on top of that, obviously, some unbelievable music. But I think last year went so amazing and so smooth and so perfect for the first year that it'll only keep getting better and better as the years go on. It still is, and I'm out here in LA trying to get more comfortable in the entertainment world before we start back up with this football thing, knowing that that's my main focus in my life, and it'll always be that until I'm done playing. But I'm definitely still dabbling in the scripted world, the entertainment world, and we'll see where that road takes me. I'm extremely excited, but at the same time. I know I'm a bit of an amateur in that world, so I definitely got to get comfortable and, I don't know, put my own creativity on it. Don't try and be Taylor, that's what I learned. Yeah, she's on a whole other stratosphere. She's the best at what she does for a reason. It's because she's so articulate and just very dialed into every single thing that she does. And that's the beauty of it. I'd be silly if I ever tried to take anything from what she does, other than just enjoy the people that show up. I think that's one thing I could probably take away, she really relates to the people she's performing in front of, and so I'll take that. I mean, without a doubt, I've been surprised. I think everybody's kind of shocked on how it's taken off the way it has. But we just started off by wanting to showcase our brotherhood and our similarities knowing that we're really two different walks of life. But when you get us around each other, you can see why we're brothers, and you see how much love, and how much appreciation we have for each other for getting to where we are in our lives. And we wanted to showcase that. We wanted to give people a first-hand look at what it's like to be at the lunch table or at the dinner table with Jason and Travis Kelsey. And I think it's just been so cool to see how everybody's appreciated that, let alone the Super Bowl that we had, and being able to showcase our family and that aspect. I think it's just been just an unbelievable amount of support that I can't be more thankful for.